By the way, that that one uh, mom asked me <laughs> after our uh, latest payday video came out with us at the uh, the Santa's workshop thing. She asked me. She's like, "What's what's a meat whistle?" No. <laughs> what? Yeah. And I was like, and, and she's she's actually hard of hearing. She she has like a hearing aid, you know. Uh huh. And and so I, I kind of was like, ah, oh, geez, mom, you really can't figure it out, you know. And she's like, no, is it, is it, is it a piece of meat that you you like? She's trying to guess. And I could she couldn't get it, and I was like, oh. I was like, well, just think about it, you know. <laughs> she's like, she's like, I don't, I don't get it at all. And I was like, it's, it's a dick, mom. It's a dick. No. Yeah, and and she goes, sorry, what? She couldn't hear it. I was like, mom, it's a fucking dick. <laughs> <laughs> I had to say this to her. <laughs> 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 what's going on what's up man yes. hi guys happy uh winter solstice it's winter solstice today right yeah it is what are you asking or telling i think i'm both thing uh <laughs> i <laughs> i yeah it is because yeah it's the shortest day in the world <laughs> well this motherfucker feels long as hell <laughs> I saw that on Reddit recently. It's the shortest day, the longest year. Oh, uh, yeah. That's a good point. Um, it sucks, dude. Like, Actually, a leap year is longer because oh, okay. it has an extra day. All right. Mm-hmm. Look, I don't want to split hairs or anything, but if we're going to... you know, No, it's be... fine. Yeah, you're splitting your... Neck beard, fedora <laughs> hair. Actually. Uh, <laughs> um, what else is happening? Uh, yeah, it's supposed to be like a time for new beginnings, but I don't know. People are depressed and shit, you know? So depressed. Oh, God. How do we... Uh, what do we do? Go to the Bahamas. You guys want to do <sighs> like a, a big trip? Yeah, um, let's, let's do a destination pod. Okay. Okay. Go to the let me get my uh, an episode. Let me get my green screen and we'll put the Bahamas in the background. Oh, that's a good idea. That's all we can do. Uh, we're all trapped. We're you all know, trapped. That, here's the thing. Let's try, let's try this. Let's throw this out into the universe and see if it works. Like okay. all these places, destinations have been saying like, Hey, you know, all these people doing work from home, come work from home from here. Oh, okay. So if you're a nice, sunny, sandy place that uh, wants people to come to their place, we'll be happy to come down there and record our podcast and play video games from wherever it is. You just got to pay for everything, but we'll come down there and do it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll still be indoors. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'd wow. love that. So I did see something that's like kind of depressing that no one really knows about or what it means, but that there's like a new coronavirus strand. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't, I know nothing about it, but um, if it is a new strain, then it's like this whole thing starts all over. It's, it's groundhog year. <laughs> <laughs> Hit the Bill Murray hits the clock and we all wake up again. And Oh God. And we start uh, this whole thing over again. I am Ned Ryerson. You're right. <laughs> so so far, it's uh, the vaccine will still work against it, from what I hear. So we're nice. Hoping yeah. for hoping for not huge mutations, but uh, let's let's fucking hope, everybody. I, yeah, I did hear um, that. I think it's just more like contagious. Like it spreads easier than the old one. <laughs> I guess that's it. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> like, it's like, oh, it can't get worse. Oh, it can. Wait, it, it will. Watch it's more it. contagious. Yeah, no. Yeah. Oh, and this one steals your wallet. Yeah. <laughs> and, it, and it punches you in the stomach and calls you a bitch. <laughs> you get a gut punch and then a slap across the face like a bitch, and then you have to go home. Wow. 
Well, speaking Merry of Merry uh, Christmas. Speaking, <laughs> speaking of meat whistles being slapped across the face, I saw uh, <laughs> no, L Delphine had a new thing come out on Twitter that was trending, which pissed me off again. Every every so often, I mention this girl again. She does some other stunt that makes me angry. This time, she uh, she was trending on Twitter because she was sucking cock on Twitter. A video of her, yeah, a Just video of her, yeah. And so how uh, do you? I mean, it's well. I mean, there's like a like I think it's Pickle Rick was covering uh-huh. the dick, you know. Sure. But clearly, you know, she's doing that, and I it was all a stunt to get more OnlyFans viewers, of course. But what uh, was covering the balls? I think I think the guy was at an angle like facing this way so you couldn't see the balls it was just just the dick. Wait a minute. Out, so. She sucked a dick for like to like to trend or to like to get mm-hmm. more followers. I mean, the yeah, people do that all the time. People do that all the time for the kindness of their heart. How dare she <laughs> do a publicity right. stunt? So, yeah, yeah, this was just recently. I think it's, um, right, to me, it's like, oh, my God, you went down to that level? Jeez. Last time she did this sort well, of music video. She can't videos. do it standing up, right? Uh, All right. <laughs> come on, high five. <laughs> okay, I see, yeah. So there was, like a, there was like a sticker or something in the way. It was like a nice hog. Like, could you tell? Like, I like, couldn't tell. Mm. Um, but... Really, just all I got to do is Google it, and you'll find the uncensored version. Someone leaks it somewhere, right? But uh, huh? Yeah, anyway. there's leaky penises all over the internet. I found that out the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> well, I went to a doctor, and he said it. You know, it's not that uncommon at your age. <laughs> you know, men can what do kegels is too. Your your ure- urethra stretches out. Does it? <laughs> yeah, didn't we cover that on this before? I think, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty I'm sure. I'm sure we have. Yeah. Even if we haven't, I'm assuming we have. You talk about the, the wideness of the urethra? Right, yeah. Yeah, okay, obviously not the length. Otherwise, I'd have urethra sticking out of my head. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. This one knows dive fast. This, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'll cut all this out. Let's move on. Yeah, uh, we'll start soon yeah. oh speaking of steven you know we uh that has become that has been trending on just the comments section of the uh the youtube the the podcast youtube channel what's uh what has been that's uh there's people mentioning starting a drinking game based on you saying we'll cut that out ah <laughs> take one take one now. so <laughs> Sounds good. Oh, I love I'd love to do a drinking game. Yeah, we could we could do one live on television. On the TV. I could probably break out the old drinking boots again. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, we could, you know, you use whatever drink you wish, but uh I started drinking. That's fun. Really? How's it going? Yeah. What what do you it's, what do you It's drink going of? good. Uh really? Yeah. yeah. It's going great. Yeah, uh, as, as expected, I, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, we're in the, we're sitting around. There's nothing to do. Oh, let's try these new holiday beers. So we get two. We try one out each night. Ah, oh, you like this? Me neither. Fuck it. We clink <laughs> drinks. So. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah, so that's I can fun. say to people, I can say to people, I quit, quit drinking. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right. There's um, always those holiday packs. There's always like a chocolate porter or stout in there that nobody likes. No. You, you, nobody wants to drink that garbage. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um. Also, weirdly, one one thing from the comments before I forget that really stood out and just kind of shook me for a while. Mm-hmm was that I'm paraphrasing great accents, but they're not from new from North Carolina, maybe from New York. Really? Yeah. 
Wow. Okay. Oh, so someone thinks that we're from New York doing North Carolina <laughs> accents? I yeah, I don't I or don't like know. Like we say we're from North Carolina and people are like, "Yeah, right." Or like we're cosplaying North Carolinians or something like Okay. Okay. Interesting. Okay. okay. Hmm. I got that a lot when I was working out west out in California. Yeah, the people were like, "You don't sound like you're from North Carolina." Well, here's mm-hmm. here's the problem, and I think we've addressed this before, is like on the radio, like or sometimes like, <clears throat> um, th- there'll be like a caller calling in and be like, "Oh, we got a caller from North Carolina," and so it's like, "You guys are." Her- yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're like, God, oh, Jesus. Like, that's not, that doesn't sound like us. That's but true. Like, yeah. Okay. But, but there the is... people who call in and, pe- and the, the people who are interviewed on the news and stuff like that, they sound like that. Like, I, I don't think we have an accent. Like, uh, the, mm-hmm. us three, I wouldn't, I don't think you could pick us out on a map. I guess people think we're from New York, but I feel like that's a little bit more. A yeah. <laughs> great impersonation, right? Yeah. Um, I be can a do stereotype an with only every... one letter. Yeah, it's just use one letter for every impression. <laughs> okay, um, but wow. Yeah, so okay, New York. That sh- that shook me for a, for a little while. I I think about it all the time. I keep I I'd say it's pretty uh, non nondescript mid eastern. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. A normal Weird. accent that you see. Well, whoa, regular whoa, ass. Whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, I, let's not say normal. I mean, it's just a. Oh, okay. Okay. Regular ass American actor in a movie. Right. Yeah. Okay. So that's what's up. How, how great are those, by the way? When, like, it's like you hear Hugh Jackman talk, like, in an interview, and. And it fucking blows your mind that he's Australian. Yeah. You're like, whoa, you just fucking yeah. nailed the American accent to like not even like a an area on the map, you know, just like I'll just be a regular American voice. And then it and then it talks and then like you fucking traitor. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, I mean then it then it talks and you're like, I am dumbfounded. His acting is so good. Not only is he is he facially acting. His voice acting is insane. Facially acting. Yeah, yeah speaking of facially he's... acting, did Bell do any of that in the video? Was there was there like, <laughs> did they show the end? Or and again, like was she was her head moving a lot or was like short strokes? Like how do you know how long it was? Well, we'll I'll look it up. I'll look it up. Yeah. Okay. All right, yeah. Yeah, I'll look it up. It it was short, quick, uh nothing, you know. I think there was more licking and less like ugh. Head slamming, you know what I mean? Like it was, head slamming. <laughs> so I don't think these are yeah. words you used to describe a <laughs> Right. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What did what? How? Now I'm thinking. Have I been getting blown wrongly this whole time? <laughs> <laughs> are you supposed to? Is the head supposed to be slamming? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? I'll look it up on the internet. How to blow sure. job. <laughs> All right. That's fine. That's fine. Now, here's how to blow a job interview. Oh, here we go. <laughs> here's one on a bus. <laughs> how, how about a, a, an, a, a word? Can we learn something? Oh, yeah. Let's learn a That's word. That's a good. Yeah. 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 You're smart. That's good. We'll do that. Okay. All right. <clears throat> I thought this one was very, very fitting for us. Okay. Caruncle. Spelled um, just like you think it is. C-A-R uncle. Okay. And I remember the and word I, from a while ago, avuncular, that is, of or relating to an uncle. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is literally car and uncle. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say it is the where's Colonel in rankings? <laughs> uh, that... I think it's like 
above lieutenant, maybe? Lieutenant and then colonel and then and then how many more? I think like four. I, I think it's above major. I think it's just under I think it's under like general. I don't I don't think it's far from general. I think it's way up there. Okay. So I'm gonna say Caruncle is the third best uncle in your family. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. Wow. Oh, Kareen off a cliff. I think maybe this is an uncle that uh, fell. Okay. An uncle that fell. A fallen uncle. Yeah. Uh Never forget. So who's closer? Uh, I don't know. I can't. Steven, I love yours. I'm both okay. way off as far as the definition, oh. but okay. uh, St- I love just Stevens makes me think of uh, Tunsis from SNL. I just like an uncle in Tunsis's car just flying off the cliff. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, a caruncle is a waddle of a bird, such as a turkey, or the red prominence at the inner corner of the eye. That's two very different What? Well, I mean, red fleshy things. So this is two completely different things, both a called very caruncle. Word. Jeez, that, that red, the, the inner part mm-hmm. of the eye, that red piece is the caruncle? Mm-hmm. Jeez. And, and then also the waddle of a bird is a caruncle. There's a, there's a chance that, that I could be mispronouncing this. Okay. I've only I've only seen it written, never heard it spoken. Wow. God, weird. Okay. Caruncle. Or <clears throat> so you could be with a couple of fellas. You know, you go to a bachelor party and you're like, hey, let's get some you know, we'll get, yeah, you're hanging out with birds. You you, you know, whatever. <laughs> whatever you're <doing. laughs> and, and there's a bird walking around, you're like, check out the Car- caruncle was it caruncle caruncle Check out the caruncle on that bird and it's waddling right maybe it's got a little bit of, of a wider stride you're like look at that, that caruncle's all off yeah and that great. would be completely correct to say <laughs> i can't wait i can't wait to use that in everyday settings <laughs> yeah you could you know sitting at there oh, oh what is it oh, i got something in my caruncle or no i got something mm-hmm. in my eye oh well just you know, keep rubbing the eye, make, try to get it into the caruncle and then take it out. <laughs> oh man. I would love to be like, I'd check out the uh, caruncle on that bird. And then be like, I can't, my caruncle's. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now you're blowing minds. <laughs> okay. Instead of men on the internet for attention. Right. There we go. And that's what we try to do here, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we try it's, to... it's 69 episodes up to... Are we on 69? Nice. Are we? I yeah. believe we are. <laughs> nice. So, yeah. that's that. Look, we, we got you in with the... You know, we got you listening, but let's cut the shit, guys. Let's finally <laughs> tell people why we're here. Right. Right. <laughs> let's learn something for episode 69. <sighs> Jeez. Title of this is gonna be nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And it is. Yeah. I was watching Big Mouth recently. Hilarious. What is what is that? Big Which Mouth. One? It's uh Nick Kroll and uh John Mullaney's cartoon. I mean, I don't think it's just their cartoon. There's a, a ton of hilarious people doing voices for it. Cartoon on Netflix mm-hmm. about puberty and, and all the stuff that goes along with it. Very, very funny. But there was two things in the same episode that stuck out to me that made me think maybe we should think about filing like a like a suit. Oh, really? They used the term farted shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Which I know, um, I don't think you guys like have that patented or anything or, or copywritten, but mm, I've only ever heard that have. from you guys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And then, <laughs> it's because we do it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and, 
And then they had in the middle of the episode, <laughs> they had a fake monster energy ad. What? Yeah. Was that on their new season? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's got to stop. <laughs> and didn't it just come out? Mm -hmm. Dude, we've been doing that for a while now. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we started when that video of Dang. Death Stranding came out. Oh, man. Okay. Interesting. Parallel okay. thinking. Or just think of it like, hey, we could easily have our own show. Right. That's that's the way yeah. I choose to think of it. Is, okay. I mean, it's a huge pat on our own, like just breaking my arm to to congratulate ourselves. Like, hey, we <laughs> think kind of right. like they do. Yeah. Right. Right. I guess you could say we could 69 ourselves this episode <laughs> because that's a huge suck of our own dicks. How do you 69 you yourself? Don't you just six yourself? <laughs> oh, or right, nine yeah, I guess. You're, or nine you're, well, you're a be, one and then a, you turn into a, a six it crunched six though it'd look more like a sideways eight yeah <laughs> um yeah <laughs> I'm gonna have to draw this later but yeah we'll, <laughs> yeah. we'll circle back to <laughs> someone that someone draw us a I need one of those an... art school like wooden <laughs> person models <laughs> It'd be a sideways eight, but the one circle would be larger than the other circle, right? So it'd be, you know. I'll take your word for it. I Yeah. Anyway. Uh, wow, that's crazy. All right. I thought so. I thought it was uh, pretty mm -hmm. interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's, uh, that's pretty wild. It's a, quite a coincidence. Yeah, I think I saw a couple s episodes on, like, season one, maybe, like, two years ago or something, but then I... You know, then got distracted because someone else told me to watch something else. I was like, fine, I'll watch that. And then I started yeah. watching that. And someone was like, no, 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 watch this. And you're like, all right, I'll watch that. And you just, just well, you, from show to well, show. Last, last week, you said you were watching something interesting. And you just finished, right? That's right. Yeah, I just finished. I was, I was trying to finish up for the podcast in case we talked about it. Um, My, my daughter was getting a story read to her and she was drinking her milk before bed and I was watching um, um, dead bodies on my phone. <laughs> yeah, I watched this uh, documentary called Heaven's Gate, uh, The Cult of Cults, and it's on HBO. Mm -hmm. And it's about the, uh, the mass suicide there. Um, and wow, man. <sighs> Jesus. What? So what happened? I know well, that's a big question, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. Basically, uh, and Jeff, you watched some of it, yeah. I watched the I watched the first and last episode, so that's I feel, all you need to do. I feel like I got the the meat oh, of it. God, I could not yeah. do that. You could just fat. It's like fast forwarding. You just saying, okay, how it start, how it end. Have you wait? Have you done this before on other series? No, and like it's a big like I hate I I I don't hate I just don't like the idea of it. Like I, I wouldn't ever take a book and read the first mm -hmm. page and the last page or like the first and last chapter. But HBO Max Go, whatever the app is, doesn't have a like 1.5 or 2x play speed thing. <laughs> so I didn't have any other choice. Didn't have the time. All right. Wow. Well, we can just talk about this next podcast. No, 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 no. I mean, I, I'm, I've, I know how it ends. I, I'm. Oh. It's... Well, I wish to know how it begins. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I will. Jeff can also let you know. <laughs> the middle part, though. I'll, I'll tell you about the middle. The part that yeah, someone that tell me what, what is this thing? <laughs> yeah, Jeff. Why don't you start it off, and I'll, I'll get in the middle, and you can take it on the end. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> don't clip that. Go ahead. It's um it was an interesting show gave it a different like cuz I remember it from from the time that it happened from you know all being alive in real life and it's being the butt of every joke. Mm -hmm. When was it in real life? 90 97. I mean it was going it had okay. been going on for 20 some odd years or 20 years, 22 years I think. I think it started. You mean the cult? The cult was going on for that long. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Ending in '97. Ending in '97. Oh boy. Okay. Um. That's... 
it was it was weird the, the thing that really that i didn't that was surprising to me so these these two people i, I don't know how much we want to like spoilers or Let's just say uh, there's a guy and this girl yeah like the leaders you know started this thing going started going around recruiting people they they started the show with that showing how that it how it started how they started collecting people and i thought okay well they they left a big cliffhanger we're gonna find out because normally you know cults it's all for to scam people to for power or money the you know the people in charge don't really believe what they're saying they're just saying it to get people to follow them and to do things for them you know money or or whatever it is but there wasn't that in the end like i i i think this these people the people in charge believed it all the way up until the end that that was what was really shocking to me and what do they believe yeah there, there was no like there was no like look you bring in your friends right right, right, right. <laughs> sure yeah always a pyramid scheme okay that, there there was no like oh i'm ga- i'm gaining money or fame or anything from this it was just like it it was almost set up like look I don't want to kill myself alone, but if I can convince these people to hang around for 20 years, maybe we can all <laughs> kill so, ourselves together. So what, you're saying a, a guy and a girl, they just started believing a thing and started recruiting people? What, what did they believe? They claimed that they were, um, I believe, aliens. That they, they, wow. that they were aliens, yeah. but they, they were Christian aliens. Mm-hmm. This was a, this was an offshoot of uh, you know all based in Christianity. So they did not believe anyone else was aliens. It was interesting how they recu- recruited people because they were like, now some of you in this room are probably like, oh, this is this this isn't for me or whatever. But the people who know that they are aliens <laughs> are drawn to what we're saying right now. So there are people out there. And so that plants a seed oh, wow. in someone's head and be like, dude, wow. am I a fucking alien? Like, okay. Like I'm kind of like, it's almost like, yeah, manipulation that where, where it's like, I mean, I'm interested, but yeah, I, I guess I'll, I'll check out what this alien Jesus is all about. And so these people, did they know that that recruitment tool worked or were they, is that just what they believed? That's that's see that's the weird thing that I could never f- find like figure out is 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 do they really think that this shit is real or are, are they just scammers like all the rest of them? Yeah, yeah. I guess it, it starts it starts with one believer or two believers, I guess. Which I don't even remember how the fuck did they even meet? I don't even remember actually. <laughs> okay she right. was the nurse he had a psychotic right. breakdown she was his nurse right so <laughs> yeah so not it all really started with a psychotic best circumstances so then he must have recruited her by saying Shh, aliens are you with me <laughs> right yeah am i right you, you you're probably one if you're interested in this and that mm-hmm. worked on her yeah but she died like kind of not early on, but this, if this thing was twenty years, I think she died. What within like ten years of this thing? I think that was in the middle part that I didn't catch. She yeah, was the middle there episode... when I started. She wasn't there when at the end. So I, <laughs> yeah, I don't really God know what happened. There. It seemed like a big, so... big, big plot point, but I, I had lost that one. Right. So she died like a like this guy carried this thing on by himself for. A, I don't remember the exact number. Minimum 10 years by himself. So he's in it alone. And now he, I don't think it would have, they addressed this in the end. I don't think it would have been a suicide thing if it wasn't for where she didn't pass away. So she passed away. And then this guy's like, fuck, I can't think of an ending. <laughs> I, I, you, you, I think there is probably some, like, I think she was the brains behind it. And yeah. he was he was the the front man. He was the you know charismatic and and could bring him in. Mm-hmm. And then I think he went on and and truly didn't have an ending. He didn't know how to wrap it up. And and then 
was on the hook for 20 years of, of saying any day now, <laughs> any day now, any day now, mm-hmm. they're coming. And then they that comment, Hail Bop, came and he's like, now's our chance. We got to do something. Yeah, Comet came, is heading towards Earth. So then he's like, all right, everybody, this is it. Drink drink this. Drink it. Drink it good. It's, it's, Gary, drink it. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, don't sniff it. <laughs> right, okay. And because... David, what did I say? Stir it. For anyone listening, don't be careful who you talk to, you know, mm-hmm. uh, this whole... Don't take great, drinks from strangers. Great conjunction thing happening now. It's a very interesting uh, astronomy event, which we mentioned last week. But don't drink anything weird. It's it's a cool astronomy thing, but you know. Anyway, so this guy, <laughs> so he, he he told everybody, in order to land on this comet, we have to kill ourselves exactly at this point. That's what I didn't, yeah, I, I didn't understand why they believe that to get onto this spaceship, because they they believe, well, that was the other interesting thing. So this conspiracy theorist radio host had a caller call in and say, hey, I looked at this comet, there's a thing behind it that's huge, we don't know what it is, and they got wind of this, and then then went and bought their own telescope to look at the comet and then look at the big thing behind it. Didn't see the thing that was supposed to be behind it that they thought was their ship and then returned the the telescope and said, yeah, this doesn't work. It didn't show the thing that we were looking for. And didn't Mm -hmm. didn't go, well, maybe it's not actually there. They said, no, your telescope is busted. Right. So that that just just gives you the brainwash mentality of like no we we know what we're doing my favorite my favorite part of the documentary is where they start trying to re- like recruit like new people or whatever and they're in like in this like big like kind of lecture hall and people and the audience is like calling them out of like like some of the people in the audience and be like so what <laughs> like <laughs> like yeah it, sh- it definitely shows people who like joined but it also show- shows a bunch of people that are like so you guys are aliens like <laughs> flat out like uh and 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 why should we believe you how do we mm-hmm. know that you're not you know and so it shows like like groups of people leaving the auditorium <laughs> okay. at a time and like oh dude i just like it just felt like a comic was bombing. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like going on a rant and just like walk in the room and like people are leaving and my heart just fucking started bleeding and I was laughing at the same time. I was like, oh, I can't stop watching. <laughs> I call <them> is bombing. <laughs> <laughs> you don't hear about that often. I got to see this. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> you don't hear about that's that. That's a good as as many like charismatic and 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 you know big personality cult leaders that we hear of. You don't hear about the shitty ones. You don't hear right. about the bombing parts. The open micer <laughs> cult leaders that are <laughs> just trying out their stuff. You know, they're they're regular nine to five guys. And they they go up there yeah. and you know try and recruit a cult on the weekends. They get together yeah. a good tight five of of. You know, they're bullshit. Right, yeah. They're going up there and like, hey, uh, I'm a alien. And then people are like, heard it. Boo. <laughs> Boo. Okay, okay. Huh. Yeah, the guy before you said he was an alien, too. <laughs> he's, like, got his, he's got it written on his hand. He's like, oh, uh, what else is going on? <laughs> <laughs> so what else is going on? Um, Wait, you've what, what seen was the guy's this, name? Could you've you... heard about this. <laughs> I think I remember this. What did he look like, this guy? Oh, boy. That's another thing uh, we, we got to cover. I mean, what? Making what fun of it? people's looks. It's not a good look, but these fucking haircuts. I... Yeah. <laughs> they all. They all wanted to have the same haircut, so you couldn't um tell like genders basically they all wanted to look the same so they didn't want to like so all the guys and girls like basically they want you to look they want you to look at them and think what the fuck is that (laughs) 
<laughs> you know, okay, I mean, from, wow. from a haircut, by the way, from a haircut. Did they have to wear like the same clothes or uniforms or anything? They had their their one leaving uniform. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Like a robe or something? No, it's black slacks and oh, black Nikes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, but they had they had to have the same haircut, is what you're saying? They had the same haircut. And what what was that haircut? You've seen you've seen a kid where like their their parents who aren't talented with cutting hair give them a haircut. I think so. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> it's a, it's all, all the guys and girls had bowl cuts. Oh, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. I know what you're saying. Why did Just, they settle on that one? There's so many other haircuts. You know, bu like buzz, shave it all, like buzz, like just go, you know, flat top or something. That's androgynous. That's, there's no, nothing there. Like androgynous. That's the word I'm looking for. Word of the day, okay. not word of the day, but that's the next one androgynous yeah you're right if they would have just shaved their heads it would have been like oh that's that's fine whatever right. but why choose the shittiest haircut I... why choose the bowl cut <laughs> choose something i mean even if they all had their hair combed a certain way and then cut that way that's fine but to say hey we're all that would have kept me from joining the cult right there Be like oh you gotta get this haircut i would have been like well you guy, you guys are crazy <laughs> no <laughs> no, I, I I believe in all the the alien spaceship shit, but no, this this is where I draw the line, right? And uh, I don't know if this has anything to do with uh, people who like join the cult, but um, the men and women in that cult, unfuckable. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta think at some point where it's just like, well. Not get getting any pussy or dick. I might as well join this <laughs> cult. <laughs> Wait a second. So th this bowl cut, that's kind of mm -hmm. like the reverse monk cut, isn't it? Because the monks had, you know, their hair, but it was shaved in the middle part, right? It's mm -hmm. it's a monk with the cap, with the, the top with part the on. With the cap, yeah. okay. Yeah, or or just like the regular Pete Rose. So yeah, the... the the cap removed, I think, was a way to symbolize like the crown during the crucifixion or something. It's like to symbolize oh their devotion to Christ or whatever. But these cult guys, they just decided on the bowl cut. What? And something, Jeff, that you might have missed. They um well, Jeff, you probably didn't miss this the first part, but they weren't supposed to they're supposed to give up sex and all that stuff all so usually the cult, yeah usually the cult leader bangs everybody in the group but um they didn't like oh whoa oh, also one of the leaders he was attracted to one of the guys that joined mm -hmm. and he goes hey um they called it this vehicle so it wasn't their alien they weren't Their bodies were vehicles. Body, bodies okay. were vehicles. Okay, yeah. So he said, um, my vehicle <laughs> <laughs> is attracted to is attracted to your vehicle. So you gotta go. Oh, Imagine. you're kidding. Yeah. I so, so what's the like, point my, of my vehicle's fucking hard right now? <laughs> <laughs> I got a and front my bumper like you wants wouldn't believe. Get... <laughs> Suck this vehicle's dude. Uh, like, my vehicle wants to be inside your vehicle and you gotta go so what's the and, point of like the uh um abstinence or whatever like what what was their reason for that i think because <laughs> going back to my first point it's, it's probably easy because they're like yeah we're not fucking doing that anyway we're, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, we're not getting laid that's not a problem okay well no, there was um the sad well there, there. <laughs> God, yeah, it's uh, like there is a reality to this that is incredibly dark and sad. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, well, what? What is it? Well, like, they're, like there's, there was parents, like this this yeah. girl's two parent, like clear, so clearly they were they were making things happen. They had to leave their families, dude. They just they, they fucking all left, left their families. Them. Like there was a, a okay. beauty queen, you know, an actress. Mm -hmm. Wow. That, yeah, like it was so like <sighs> they went they went as far where one the leader guy he goes 
uh, yeah, you shouldn't be having sexual urges and then encouraged the men to get castrated. And did some? One, one guy did. <laughs> one person. They, the leader so seriously goes, okay, so who's first? <laughs> and then they had the one of the uh, women in the cult. She was a nurse. And they're like, oh, well, she'll do it. She's a nurse, which is fucking bananas. Like a nurse knows how to perform nut surgery when she's like, I just kind of. I was more of a tongue depressor. I kind of checked sick people out, you know? Wow. Okay, so those middle sections, there's a lot of meat there. There's a meat. There's a lot of meat. Well, so Not they as much even, meat as there was before, but... Okay. So they okay. cut one guy's nuts off, and then the leader goes, you know what? Let's not do that. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, imagine getting your... You're like, I'll do it. I'll be the first one. You get your nuts cut off, and then the leader goes... Eh, I don't think I don't think it's necessary. <laughs> That's fucked up. I just looked yeah. up a picture of this guy, Marshall Herf. Herf, Herf. Applewhite. Ap- you know that's so funny is I I couldn't tell you his name, so I'm glad. My God, looked it up. the guy looks. I oh, mean, I kind of remember what he looked like, but yeah, wow. I need I, I need to refresh my memory on this stuff. Um, and so with that, with the guy gets his balls cut off, mm-hmm. and then he they. The nurse, obviously, she's just, you know, she's probably like a like a regular nurse. Nurses don't perform surgery. Mm-hmm. That, would, that would be like, I don't, I don't know. It's like, hey, you're, so we need a stunt driver for this movie. And you're like, well, I, I drive an Uber for a living. And you're like, it's not the fucking <laughs> same enough. thing at all. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're going to okay. get killed out there. So they it's cut the this guy's nuts have, yeah. off. And then it starts to like go wrong, like it starts to swell, and this guy starts to you know get all kind of sick or whatever. So they like didn't want anyone to know what happened, so they took his <laughs> balls. <laughs> he fell down some stairs. <laughs> yeah, they took the guy's balls and they're like, "Oh, get rid of the evidence!" And they went, they drove to a bridge and they threw his <laughs> balls off a bridge. What? Yeah, Jeff. There's a lot of meat in that middle, baby. You gotta- yeah, uh- Oh my god! First of all, you could just throw them in the trash and no I one would know. Notice. Why do you have to <laughs> chuck them? It's not like it's a laptop. We gotta drown it, right? Or you could bury them. Why well, you gotta throw them off a bridge where there's airtime and someone could see it? You know, <laughs> what? Someone's across the street. Like, what are those balls? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> That is <laughs> you could you could literally throw the balls in a garbage disposal and it'd be fucking done. Throw them up wow. a tree, throw them down a uh, sewer drain, throw them throw a million them different places. You tree. don't <laughs> You don't have to find a fucking bridge. This that's insanity. <laughs> that is insanity. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So Oh, that is great. Wow. <laughs> Man, I am. Um, they they made one quick mention of the castration in the last episode, mm-hmm. so my ears perked up, and I was like, "Wow, what?" Surely, if it was a bigger deal, that they would have made you know talked about it more. But wow, that is wow. that's that's yeah. Uh, and did the balls man? Did he stay in the cult till the end, or no? Did he leave? <laughs> I can't when remember. No I think I think he stayed. I think. I mean, at that point, you're going to fucking go back into your family and be like, oh, thank God you're you're back. I'm glad you changed your mind. And you're like, yeah, I did. And uh, I also don't have any balls. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you have to explain that whole thing. Yeah, right. Um, so, you know, it's a power. It's powerful. The brainwashing is powerful because obviously this thing ends in a big suicide. 39 people. It's the biggest suicide um on u.s soil to date Mm -hmm. um but uh like they interviewed some of the people who left and one of the guys was like i should have been there and it's like what Hmm. i believe that was the guy that said that in the interview sitting next to his daughter and his wife did stay 
Yes. That yeah. So they they died in the cult, and the other guy was like, "Yeah, I should have been there." And it, like, dude, that's the darkest, most fucked up thing I've, I think I've ever like. If if he like, I mean, I I can't I can't even imagine. Yeah. No. I, obviously, what we're talking about is very dark and horrific, and it's it's terrible. But right, 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 right. But uh, wow. But this proves that we can. Start make cult. fun of fucking anything. No. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. There, <laughs> absolutely. There is humor <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, All right, for sure. That, but right. If you're having a bad day, at least you didn't get your balls thrown off a bridge. You know. I just love the fact that the that the leader was like, "Yeah, let's not do that." Like, <laughs> so so committed, and then the one guy. Mm-hmm. Oh man. And then he think, oh, they even said like obviously you couldn't like jerk it. Like they didn't want you jerking it at all. And they said if you obviously if you don't jerk it, you get backed up and whatever. So some of these guys would uh have a nocturnal emission. Um which, you know, you jerk it in your sleep. That's that's how easy it is to come as a man we can do it in our sleep <laughs> do you think some guys faked nocturnal emissions they're like ah psh, look what happened weird huh <laughs> no, I don't know. isn't that isn't that silly look at all this <laughs> look at all this jizz everywhere it's well, like they're, they're eating breakfast you had to get other witnesses like you would believe what happened look huh <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> but with that, they had to tell the leader when they did. What? They were like, yeah, listen. I-. And they had to use like a specific towel like that was in the bathroom. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. Fuck the middle no, part. The middle part's wild. fucking weird. <laughs> That's. <laughs> no. Yeah. I know. It's so specific. What's with all this all the rules? Well, yeah, what what does that like uh, I don't see how that has any bearing on any of the like the big picture shit like like that's just yeah, you use the wrong like, towel, to... you're going to miss the spaceship. Like, right, but... right. Yeah. But also, wasn't JD all talking about like abstaining and uh, you know not touching it and and how much power he gets? You think he's trying to start a cult with this? Probably. I think so. Yeah. Is that what No Nut November is? Is just a trying power to trip? power trip trying to trying to find cult members? Oh. I would like to see uh, the amount of cults that start in November. It'd be an interesting strong uptick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, they wanted everything to be uniform like even in the in um I think this covered in the first episode when they would get together they would there when they would have breakfast you had to have pancakes a certain size you'd have to pour the syrup on with a certain hand like it was like so uniform we all want to be the same i i don't know it was it was just so it's so crazy jeez yeah where the the middle part may have covered this where did they get the money for the mansion i don't fucking know that's a that's a great question because at the end I was like, how the fuck do they get that mansion? I think there's 39 of them. So between 39, well, actually, if I could get with 39 of my wealthiest friends, we could not buy a mansion. I don't think we would buy a house. <laughs> right. Yeah. So yeah, that mansion is a that's a great question. Well, this was like seventies money, right? No, nineties money. Nineties money. Oh, oh yeah, well, right. Yeah, nineties. It was. It was. You know, some multi-million dollar mansion out in uh, what somewhere in, in Southern California. Yeah. You know, not, not cheap, cheap real estate. All right. Damn. Okay. But like, yeah, I, I I guess it was either you know pooling life savings probably or I don't know. They didn't. They didn't go into the day to day. Like, I want to know what their day to day was. Are these people yeah. going out and still working and all, all just chipping in on the mortgage? In the beginning, there was a lot of 
camping. They were like nomads. They would just right. go from one place to the other and, you know. Test out different man. open mics. Test out different mics. You got to okay. see, you know, if what we're saying works in Texas, does it work in Oklahoma? Does it, you know, okay. we want to work with, make sure it works with Republicans and Democrats. You know, we want to get a, a, gather a wide audience. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, man. Uh, it's fucking wild, dude. It was interesting for for sure. Yeah, Heaven's Gate. Check it out. It's pretty pretty wild. Do we have voicemails. I want to cover. Let's get at least two in. All right. Yeah. Because okay, let's do that. I know. I know. We're we're getting close here, but let's let's do two. Everyone from uh, James Williams. Okay. Oh, on our, via Instagram, James says uh hey you guys are amazing you're the best thing ever blah 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 no i'm just kidding i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> um no honestly okay james williams he says hello good start just wanted to say you guys are brilliant and thank you for doing what you do i'm a 19 year old student and i'm wondering if you guys have any solid life advice and then in parentheses he goes and a gas or liquid state is also appreciated, Mark. Love you guys. I also study civil engineer engineering, which is bridges, to answer Jeff's question. <laughs> so he knows us. He knows that I was gonna make a Shut it probably down. Turn it off right now. A gas liquid state joke. And then he was like, Jeff wants to know. It's bridges. <laughs> I don't I don't like this. I'm James, uncomfortable. Geez. Yeah, thanks, he knows thanks, he knows James. this too well. Maybe we should stop doing this podcast. Thanks, James, James. Williams. That's, thanks, man. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, that's, that's great. Um, 19, you got your whole life ahead of you. Don't join a cult. That's my solid life advice. Geez. 19, huh? Okay. Yeah. 19, you know what, dude? Besides not joining a cult, I would just say, and I, and I think it's easier to do this later in life. But, and I think that's why, like, for instance, you know, being a little older, like people think, oh, like when you get, when you, when you're older, like, and you're out of college and you're real world, it kind of sucks. It doesn't, it, it does, of course, it's like, oh, it's so much fun being in college and like having minimal responsibilities and whatever. But when you're younger, you just care too much about what people think. And oh, I think one. getting yeah. older and realizing like like of course i still care what people think for instance like if we're doing this podcast like i don't uh, everything is in good fun we never want to offend anybody uh we want everyone to to laugh and have a good time and that's the that's the whole point of our our youtube and our podcast and whatever whatever we do um but as long as you're not being a dick I would just say, don't care what anybody thinks. Like if you are going to, whatever you're chasing, obviously civil engineering or whatever you do, as long as you're not a dick, just don't care what other people think of, of you or your life. Cause guess what, dude, people, people are subjective and they're going to think what they're going to think and you can't help how they think or change that. So just, just, be you. That's that'd be my advice, man. Just that's and it, it's okay. No, don't care what other people's opinions are. And that's a lot. And believe me, it's a lot easier said than done. But if you can start practicing, like oh, I'm just gonna just just be nice, be cool, and um, I think you'll be all right, man. That's uh, solid, solid advice. Very, very good. I've noticed that too. Yeah, if you uh, when you're younger, you do care more i guess and uh it affects you harder uh that's one thing i like about being older is like someone says something not nice you're like eh, fuck it <laughs> you know right like if i if i was james and there was a engineer that came up to me and said god Stephen, you're so not civil in this <laughs> engineering world i would i'd be like okay I'll just, I'll just fucking work hard, you know? And then one day I will be civil. And, uh, you know, that would be my advice. Just fucking 
go at it hard, work hard because shit's competitive and uh, you can't afford not to. <clears throat> Great, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. I don't know. Looking around, thinking about how much time I've spent in my basement recently, I don't know that I should be really doling out advice. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Yeah, somehow we all are not in the greatest places ever. But but I can give you some ultra-crepidarian advice on this one. Jeez, let me look at my okay. notes. What the hell is that? Oh, that's right, gonna... yeah. The thing about yeah. giving advice you know nothing about. Got it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. That, um, your job, your work is not your friends. They don't care about you. Mm. They mm. look after yourself. Don't uh, expect for anybody to take care of you job-wise, you know, employment those those people are are not your friends and there's so much more to life as a person than working and like finding what you enjoy like think about how much much time you know you have on earth it's not a lot and spending all that time working for somebody else you know possibly doing something you don't care about maybe you do maybe you do love you know what you're doing but i would uh try to balance it more towards getting more fun out of your life and enjoyment and learning about yourself and the world and everything around you while you're young than, than saying, ah, we'll travel when we're retired. Cause you don't always know that you'll get to retirement. Mm-hmm. That's right. That is, that is very right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Unfortunately. So I clap for both of your advices as, as do I and to you. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> good good that was good hell yeah this guy he says he says he makes bridges but james name all bridges all right you you know so much about him name them all tell me all the bridges (laughs) we we expect a speedy response wow i uh, uh suspension bridge what else is there uh Regular bridge? No, no, I'm not talking about styles, like names, Na- like Brooklyn, oh. London. Oh, okay. <laughs> and also, by the way, I mean, if if you're into building bridges, to be, and you're like, you're gonna look at it one day and be like, ah, you know what? I built that bridge, and all the the only thing that's gonna happen is some guy's gonna throw somebody's balls off it. You know? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's not that big of a deal, James. I'm just kidding. I love you. Right, but the uh, the guy that throws the balls off is going to be just a tiny bit thankful that that bridge was so sturdy, <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah. That is nuts. Got so much hang time. <laughs> hey. <laughs> wow. Jeff, you got one? I know. I think we're backed up here. And I think I, and we're from what I know about getting of- backed up. Nocturnal emissions of, uh, of voicemails. Questions. Okay. Do we have one more? Okay. Well, that's, and that's a good thing. You know, I, I meant to ask you guys about it earlier and that's something, you know, I can ask on the episode too. So everybody can, can hear it and give us their opinion. And, um, you know, especially it seems like, uh, people are leaving more comments on the videos than, than anywhere, any other feedback on the podcast. So I've been thinking about doing a, a mini episode, keeping all of the voicemails, you know, do a regular episode. Like, you know, so for tonight, for example, we would have mm-hmm. done our cut it right after the end of the 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 stuff, the last, and then the all last this ball other joke, and then yeah, okay, splitting those up, and then so then maybe be able to give a little more time to the the questions, or okay, okay. or or yeah. all of them or more of them. Yeah, good. Just a thought. I'll be you know not saying one way is right or the other. I'm interested in everybody's feedback and hearing what everybody has to say. Yeah, on, the, on each clip you can title up voicemails, and then you can say who either who it's from or or just the gist of what the questions were. So here's one. Hey guys, this is Sketch, and uh, after the awesome parenting advice Mark gave a few weeks ago, I was hoping I could ask for a similar piece of life advice. So I graduated college in August, and I'm looking for my first real job. So I wanted to ask, with what you know now, 
if you had to go back and look for your first job again, your first adult job, what would your first priority be? Like, would it be living in a cool city, uh, having a good work-life balance, making a lot of money, or would it be something else? Um, I've got my own priorities, but I'm curious to hear your thoughts since you guys are more mature than I am. Thanks, guys. Wow. Sketch. Sketch. Uh, Thank you. Great. Congratulations, too, by the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> well, I, I would God, we're, we're dishing out to... life advice on this one. What I yeah. like. I, we shouldn't I like be doing out life advice. Yeah. We get we get we get one podcast full of jizz questions and the other <laughs> one's full of life advice. Well, we'll balance them. It's a grab bag. Sort of yeah. Yeah. Um so sketch the guy that gave Mark the advice a few weeks ago about the just be thing is the same guy that told me I uh, I'm about to say is he he gave me some good advice on the job thing. He was like, "You should be applying two jobs ahead of what you want to be doing." So, mm. like for example, it's like, "Oh, you know, if I was a, an animation graphics guy, um, and I wanted to start this channel or whatever, I should be applying for." The thing the I'll need. President of jobs. the United <laughs> States. <laughs> the thing you'll need two jobs from now. Like so marketing or something. He's he's basically saying apply for a job two steps ahead of where your your goal is, kind of thing. I thought that was pretty sound advice. Uh nice. Yeah. Don't know if that makes sense. I think so. I think a, a okay. little bit, but I, I also know this shaman that uh, has given all this advice and I, I trust him as well. So yeah. 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 He's a much wiser man than I am. Uh-huh. Also, and also unto you and to me. <laughs> we, <laughs> to, we've we've to started our own cult this, this, this one. All this day. <laughs> uh, cool, Jeff. Anyone, anyone have uh, uh, something to add to that though? I feel like uh, I'm not sure if I actually nailed what I was trying to say. I mean, I think I, I got the, I think you, you know, got the gist of the, the, the advice, the, but I think you know, okay. there's other aspects of the question, like where, you know, city, big company, small company, maybe those kind of specifics. Yeah. I Sketch, would. Uh, Sketch is here, by the way. He's watching live. Yeah. So. <laughs> way to go, Sketch. <laughs> I Sorry, would, no. if, if I could do it again, I think any job that is going to where travel is involved, well, I guess that this is this is pre COVID advice. I'm sure it's a fucking nightmare now. But like being able to travel and see, you know, go places, uh, you know, be gone, you know, remote working or not remote working, but like, you know, being out, you know, job sites states away or something for extended periods of time. Not being afraid to go out because you're you're young, you you're nothing tying you down take advantage of it, you know, go out and, and do that stuff while you don't, because there's probably going to be a time where you have a dog or you have a wife or you have kids and you can't, you can't just be so ready to go anywhere at any time and anywhere that will, will pay the most for the least amount of actual input from you. I think that's probably, probably the goal <laughs> or nice. like a dumb nice. company where like they don't like Kruger smoothing where like you can just, they don't even know what they're doing. <laughs> Oh, wow. You can just get away okay. with anything. Kruger, I was like, Freddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wasn't sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess this is, I mean, this is, this is obviously, uh, depends on the person, but I guess I, I mean, I'm glad the way everything turned out for me, but if I could do it again, well, I, I guess I wouldn't, you know, it's a butterfly effect. You change one thing and your whole fucking life falls apart or whatever, but <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's, it's on you though, Sketch. So <laughs> mm -hmm. uh -huh. you gotta get this right. <laughs> um, I think if I could do it over again and not change the present or whatever the fuck, um, I would. Personally, I think I have always admired people. To admire, I think I think that's the word people who move to a different city mm -hmm. and say, I'm going to, I'm going to go to, um, Austin, Texas. I've always, I, I always thought that's a cool city. I visited there. I'm going to go try to find a job there for a year. It's, it's a year, man. That's fucking nothing. Do it for two years. See, see what happens. Go there. 
And at first, when you move, you're going to be like, you're going to doubt yourself. You're going to be like, ah, fuck, I should have, I don't know if this is right. Or maybe if, for instance, you know, me, I'm in, I'm in North Carolina. So if I move to New York, that's a big change. Now I'm not driving, I'm taking subways. And so now you're like, ah, fuck, this is, I don't know, this is so much change. Well, mm -hmm. you know, you, you guys actually know that I'm in New York, right? I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah. But you, you know, it, it's only a year or two of your life. And I know it's easy to say, like, let's say it's the fucking worst year or two of your life. And you're like, that was a waste of time, right? But at least you get to have the experience of living in a different place for a while. And you can always move back home. Mm -hmm. So you're not, you, you, you're nothing's gonna, you're not gonna lose anything. But my, I would say, go live somewhere that you've wanted to live for a year and get a job. And it doesn't really matter about the job because you're, like, I had great advice where it's like, it's like if you're, for instance, me being in North Carolina, if I'm broke in North Carolina, I can be broke in San Diego, California. What's the difference? You know, but at least you're living and you get to kind of live that lifestyle and, uh, you know, the buzz of the city, wherever you want to go to. So I would say take a year. Try to find a job in a city you want to be in. And yeah, I guess, I guess that's it. I mean, it's at, at that good. point, I think everything will kind of fall into place if you want to live there or, you know, obviously you need to get a job of whatever you graduated in, some sort of common field. But I, I would say go live somewhere where you want to go. Yeah, totally, totally agree. Totally agree. Yeah. Good one. Good shit. Thanks, Sketch. Yeah. yeah. Great, great call. call. And again, congratulations. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go try and find a bridge to throw some balls off of. Yeah, yeah. Live stream it if you can. <laughs>